A very good morning. This is Alok Srivastava and as the title says, The Power of Puppet. This is a small demo actually just to show you the capabilities of Puppet. The capabilities that it holds and the ease in which you can manage your Linux machines in a big enterprise or a huge enterprise. So it's merely a demo just to show you the capabilities or the power of Puppet. So here, if you can see, obviously you can see, sorry, I have got one machine configured as the Puppet Master, which is green in color. And then couple of machines are there, which are blue in color. They are configured as the Puppet Agent. So two types of of, of machines will be there one will be acting as the puppet master and then all others will be acting as the puppet agents or you can simply call them clients so what I'm going to do I already have got the setup configured here so number one puppet master is configured I'm not going to explain it here puppet master is configured it is already done Number two, puppet agents are configured. It is already done. So what I'm going to do, to do, I am going to use puppet master to configure my remote puppet agent machines right so means what I'm going to do say means I I can create the task number one that I can do is I can say create or modify any file any file on puppet agent while sitting on the puppet master number B I, it is just a demo the, cap the capabilities are much more I'm just trying to explain you the power and why it is used in all the big enterprises so I can install or remove any package Wow this is real great package from remote puppet agents and even in this video I'm going to show you I can add a user also user on remote puppet agents so it is cup one of the small things that I can configure using the puppet means by sitting here on this machine I can create I can create a user here I can install a package here and I can say modify any file or create any any file here so whatever I do here they are known as manifest whatever I do here the agent will automatically take everything from the master and got all the things configured so let's start rolling the things and just understand the power of puppet and why you should have a knowledge of this technology if you want to manage a very huge Linux infrastructure or even the Windows in, uh, infrastructure. So I'm just minimizing this. So here are my two machines. One is already configured as the Puppet Master. So this machine hostname is puppet.example.com. It is already configured as the Master, Puppet Master with a background of green color and there is another machine the background is of blue color and this is configured as the puppet agent right so the host name is puppet-agent.example.com okay first check the contents here I've got a file here etc motd the file is there but it is blank I check about the availability of the FTP package. It is not installed. <coughs> Excuse
excuse me and i check about the availability of a user say a user here iron man it is not there so what i'm going to do using the puppet master i'm going to configure all these things on puppet agent so i need not to do ssh need not to copy any bash shell script need not to do anything just make sure that they this puppet agent is configured to take everything from the master which is not a part of my video so i'm not going to show it here just the configuration is already being done so what i need to do there is a file there under etc puppet manifests in this folder i need to create a file node.pp and specify the node means this configurations are supposed to be executed on which node so i need to give the name puppet hyphen agent dot example dot com it's a simple ruby command it's very simple the puppet is totally written in ruby and you need not to learn the difficult loops and all the things it's very easy to configure all these things sorry about the background noise can't help it okay so now i do a file means i'm creating a file here say i say under etc motd and i write the content here content and what are the contents what you want to write anything say this is via puppet master and a blank enter here and just close this right next so this file is supposed to be created automatically on the puppet agent next i'm going to install a package so i say package and then the package name say vsftpd in my example and it's very easy say ensure present that's it wow great it's very easy and then i'm creating a user account here also so user my username was iron man right iron man and then other parameters belonging to the user ensure it is present comment any full name for that user say iron man part 2 say iron man is enough comma you need the home directory to be created automatically so say home iron man okay he should be managing his home so manage home should be true they are really easy once you learn all these things right and i can also assign the password here i can write here password password and i write here because okay the password i need to generate because the password is not supposed to be stored in a plain text file so i create a sha512 hash for the password so i i just save it it's very simple the command is grub crypt and say hyphen hyphen sha512 right and give the password so i'm assigning the password as red hat r e d h a t r e d h a t so it generates you a sha512 hash copy this very carefully oh oh mouse is behaving in a wicked manner my mouse and not taking my commands okay copy it and then again open your file put a quote here single quote as in the syntax paste it close the quote comma and job done and then close the node configuration so in this manner you can have different configuration for different nodes okay save and come out i hope everything is fine let me just restart the puppet master 
there are tools and the configuration that you can configure it to sync automatically okay right now okay the uh, original state was the etc MOT, uh, MOTD file was blank the package was not installed and there was no user iron man okay I just start the puppet agent by default the agent goes to the master after every 30 minutes and fetch the configurations but I'm not going to wait for that 30 minutes so I am explicitly restarting it that's great let me check now if I check cat etc MOTD and let, if I check RPM query VS FTPD uh oh it is not installed I hope everything is fine there let me start it again that's great everything is working let me check okay so let me check it out on the client etc MOTD oh it's not working something is wrong let me check once again on the client oh, oh look there's a small typo error the file name should be nodes so I just change the name to node to nodes nodes dot pp okay I just it's a small typo but it's a huge mistake I restart the master here and hope everything is working fine now if I go to cat it and I restart the puppet here also if I do a cat etc MOTD uh oh it's still not working let me check for the FTP yeah look the FTP is getting installed earlier it was not and if I check the ETC password Iron Man user is there see the user is there now so if I repeat the same command that I had given and uh, if even if I check the ETC shadow the password is there in the SHA512 hash so I should be able to log in with this so if I say if okay I go to Alok first now if Alok tries to log in with Iron Man and giving the password Red Hat R-E-D-H-A-T successful and the home is available everything is available but I'm not sure what happened with MOTD okay here it comes it might take certain time so the cat etc MOTD has been modified the package has been installed and the user has been created by the puppet master on the client now think of it how easy it is to manage the users okay in case you want to remove this I don't want it anymore no problem open your nodes.pp file just change present to absent like in schools save and come out restart the puppet master restart the puppet master here also otherwise you need to wait for half an hour I'm not going to wait for half an hour uh oh sorry as I am Iron Man so I need to be root here I restart the puppet service otherwise I need to wait for half an hour okay now if I ch give RPM curry VS FTPD it is not installed so you can see the power behind the puppet why the knowledge of puppet is very important for a Linux admission so though the video was only a demo and it, it, and it was never intended to be uh, giving you the full like uh, the installation part and all the things actually it's a teaser a teaser for you honestly to get you motivated to learn puppet I hope I was able to motivate you enough to learn uh, this beautiful thing so it helps you getting a good job it helps you getting a hike it can help you uh, building or say taking the, the next level after the RSC merely RSC knowledge is not enough right now you should be learning the tools and the tips and the tricks those are actually being implemented in the industry and no big data center no big company working on Linux cannot sub can survive without puppet right so thank you very much God bless take care see you again soon ciao stopping the video now